What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back to the Kung Fu Society. I just did a live stream and it kind of got botched, but uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of a highlight reel. You know, because when you do things outside, got interrupted by the neighbors and things like that, it just it just didn't work out how I wanted it to. So, um, I had cut down a tree branch. Um, I not cut down tree branch, but there was a tree branch. There was a pile, a wood pile, because the neighbor had, uh, I guess they're renovating this house up the street, and they cut down the trees, and so I took took some uh, wood for for fire, you know, for like marshmallows and things like that. And it's like, oh, well, this is actually gonna. It's like that's that can make a pretty good blunt weapon. So I'm just gonna show you some some real quick things of what I'm. What I'm uh, talking about. This is a very blunt branch that I have carved with a meat cleaver that I call Martin Yan. Um, it is a very blunt. Th it's it's bigger than a baseball bat. Um, you can see right there the ratio. There you can see the cleaver. Uh, so it uh, it certainly. Uh, take some uh, wielding to do and basically the video was just a 30 minute stream of me sanding it down just getting rid of the splinters I had actually debarked it yesterday and just uh, use the cleaver to chop off some some more uh, wood make it a little bit more narrow which it was a touch bit narrow at the bottom uh, just to take off some weight because um, it was very heavy I used I use a 60 grit coarse sandpaper to sand it down. Oh, <laughs> crotch shot. Okay, all right. So let's uh, let's move forward a little bit. Um, and I sand it down quite a bit. Um, and there, there you see me sanding it down even more. And uh, I think right there. There you go. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna show it to to you guys. All right, so there it is, all smoothed out, sanded down, no splinters. Um, and uh, so, anyways, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, right there. Uh, so yeah, like I was saying, it's not a it's not a weapon in traditional martial arts, a traditional Chinese martial arts, or any traditional martial arts. Pretty much, it's a primitive weapon, uh, very very primitive. But like I was saying, if you practice and train with a a Quan Dao or a Tiger Fork or Nine Ring Broadsword in any one of these heavy weapons, especially the Southern Kung Fu weapons, you will have no problem wielding this. And you say, oh, well, yeah, I know how to fight with a ball bat and things like that. Well, but but think about it. You're going to have to maybe do some wider stances to get the, the power string or your or power swing. Or you're going to have to choke up on this uh, on this weapon, you know, get a little bit up on it. So that it's about, um, I want to say, at least uh, three feet uh, long. If not, yeah, it's this three foot long club. I call it like the, uh, I call it a war club. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but anyways, check out the Discord and everything. So let's keep on training. Let's keep on finding each other and, uh, you know, preserving this martial arts for those of us who do not have a quoon. All right, guys, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.